Okay, so let's talk about rotating this region. This is y equals x, and this is y equals x cubed. And we're taking this region and rotating it about the x-axis. And I've already drawn a strip, which has kind of been what we always do when we're doing this. Now, um, just to take a quick look at what this is going to look like, let's go back into our 3D modeling program and do this rotation. Uh, so we're going to take this face, rotate it about this, and 360 degrees gives us this nice little... I don't know, kind of, it's not really a cone, it's because it's got this cool curved surface on the inside. I guess it's maybe the inside of a trumpet, the end of a trumpet possibly. Uh, but anyways, we'd like to find the, the solid volume, not the volume inside of it so much this, but the, the solid volume that you would actually need in order to make this. So we need to take this strip and rotate it around the x-axis. But I want you to notice that this is going to be slightly different from what we were doing before because this is not actually disc shaped. Uh, it's kind of washer shaped. So we have an inner circle and an outer circle where the inner circle is actually formed by uh, this, this is the x-axis right here. This inner circle right here is formed by uh, the line of y equals x cubed. So that's this inner radius that corresponds to this right here. And the outer radius is going to be due to y equals x. So that's coming from here. And so the volume of this disk uh, is not going to be the same. Um, it'll be the outer area of this of this radius minus the inner area corresponding to the inner radius. So it's going to be pi times uh, the outer radius minus pi times the uh, radius of the inner uh, part squared. And so we can simplify this and, and see that and this of course is the area so we're going to take that and multiply by the thickness of that of that washer, uh, which is going to be dx. So that's going to be this whole quantity times dx. Uh, we can simplify this a little bit and get that this is equal to uh, pi times the difference of the radii squared here. So our outer squared minus our inner squared dx. This is just the volume of the washer. To find the total volume, we again need to integrate. And this is now just like all the other problems that we've uh, done before. The integral from uh, our value of x, which is here, to x equals 1. So x equals 1, uh, x equals 0, to x equals 1. And it's pi. And so then we have to see what is the outer radius. Well, that's going to be y equals x. So it's going to be x squared minus the inner radius, which is going to be x cubed squared. So all of that dx. Uh, let's clean up this integral just a little bit so we get from 0 to 1. Uh, we'll pull out the pi because it's a constant times x squared minus x to the sixth dx. Uh, this we can simplify because we can do the antiderivative. It's pi times uh, the quantity x to the third over 3 minus x to the seventh over 7. And we're evaluating that from 0 to 1. Uh, that simplifies. That becomes pi times, uh, so 1 cubed over 3 is 1 third minus 1 to the seventh which is, again, just 1, so 1 7th. Um, and so we can do a quick little calculation. That becomes uh, 4. Uh, 1 3rd minus 1 7th is 4 21sts. So that makes this 4 pi over 21.